Hello everyone! Thank you for joining me today for this Hopin user tutorial. As you may know, Hopin is a virtual events platform that OFE uses for our job and career fairs. We're very much looking forward to hosting you as an employer at this event, and we would like to make the process as easy as possible for you. In this tutorial, I will show you how to sign up for an account on Hopin, how to navigate through different features on the Hopin platform during an event, and how to access your booth for presentations and interacting with job seekers. During the event, we would recommend that you use a computer that is plugged directly into an internet cable. We've found that in the past, Wi-Fi connections can become unstable during large events like these, but if your device, such as your laptop, is plugged into your internet cable, it should allow everything to run smoothly. Prior to the start of the career fair, you will receive an email from OFE containing a link to the event. Click on the link to go to the website. Then, make an account by clicking on Sign Up in the top right-hand corner. This will take you to the page where you can enter all of your information to create an account. Enter your first and last name, your email address, and create a password. Then, make sure to click on the box beside I agree to Hopin's terms and conditions. You don't have to click on the box below it unless you'd like to receive promotional emails from Hopin. Once you're done, click on Sign Up. You will now be ready with an account to log in with on the day of the event. Please make sure to sign up for an account before the day of the event, as this will give us time to change your settings based on the type of presentation you're planning. For example, if you'll be showing a PowerPoint or video, we will change the settings so that you will be allowed to share this during your presentation. I'm going to switch over to an account that has those settings in place right now. On the day of the career fair, Click on the link in the email again to be taken directly to the event. You may have to then click on a blue button that will either say join event or enter event to get in. This will take you to the reception area. The reception area is where attendees go to find useful information about the event. Participants will be able to view the day's schedule when it will start and end, and also ask general questions about the event. You will not spend much time in this area, as you will be at your booth for the duration of your time there. From the reception, you can navigate to different parts of the event using the icons listed on the left-hand side here. Your event will have three places that you can visit. The reception area, which is where you are now and is identified with a house icon, the stage, which you can see has a camera icon, and the expo, which has a booth icon. Click on any of these buttons to switch to those areas. Let's go to the stage now. The stage is where attendees will go immediately when the event starts, which will be at 9 a.m. The stage features keynote speakers, as well as further information about the event. You can tune into this part of the event if you wish to get this information or view the inspiring speakers we will be featuring. This is how we will kick off the event before participants go to your booths. The most important part for you to know about is the Expo. This is where all of the employer booths will be located. Participants will come here to choose which employers they will view and enter their booths at the times they're scheduled. When you click on Expo on the side here, it will take you to a page where you can view all employer booths. When you're going to start your booth, find it on this page and click on it to enter. You will be able to find it because it will have the name of your company or organization on it to click on. When you get into your booth, you will see a big screen with a blue button that says Share Audio and Video. You will use this if you would like to do a live presentation, and also if you would like to respond to questions out loud. 
If you're not presenting live, you will still be in the booth to monitor the chat and answer questions via the chat box, but you do not have to click on share audio and video. Let's click on that now. When you click on it, um, a settings screen will pop up and just make sure to click apply. So now you can see your audio and visual are on and you have control of these things the whole time throughout your panel. You can see that you have different options at the bottom of the screen here, such as to turn your video on or off, like this. You can also turn your microphone on and off using this button here. You also have the option to share your screen during your presentation. This can be used to share a PowerPoint, document, or any other electronic materials. Click on the icon that looks like a computer screen, then click on Share Screen. A window will pop up that gives you some options. Click on Application Window if you would like to share something you have open on your computer, such as a PowerPoint, or click on the Internet Browser tab, such as Chrome tab, to share something you have open in another tab on the Internet, such as your website. Select the window that you would like to share, and then click on the blue Share button. This will allow everyone in the booth to see that screen. At the bottom of your window, you'll also see a pop-up that tells you that hopin.com is sharing a window. When you would like to stop sharing, click on the blue Stop Sharing button here. Then navigate back to your booth. Like this. Throughout your time in your booth, participants can ask questions using the chat feature. The chat box is located on the right-hand side of the screen. For you to see it, click on Booth at the top here, then click on Chat in the options underneath. Participants' questions will show up here as they send them, just like this. You can use the chat feature to respond to participants by clicking at the bottom here where it says Start Typing and type your message. Then, when you press the Enter key, it will send your message for all attendees to see. You can also read the messages in the chat and answer questions out loud if you're presenting live. Participants will also have an option to share their audio and video, and some may try to use this feature, but you will have the option to decline this in your booth. We recommend that you encourage participants to only engage via the chat box. There will be an OFE representative present in the booth as well to help moderate this. You can see in the top right part of the screen here, a button with red text that says leave. If you click on this, it will stop your audio and visuals, but you will still be in your booth. So, you can stop the camera and microphone, but still be able to use the chat feature to communicate. Whenever a participant is interested in the opportunities you're presenting, they can click on Apply for Jobs in the Offers area on the right-hand uh, right side here. When they click on this, this will direct participants to your website, where they can find additional information and apply for the available positions if that's an option. Presentations can go as long as you would like, up to two hours. Throughout your time at the event, you will be in your booth and can present periodically as new people enter, or at specific intervals. We would recommend that you plan to do your initial presentation at the start time of your booth, then present the information again if an influx of people join. This might happen several times throughout your scheduled booth time, so you can present your information as many times as you are able. 
It would be great if you can communicate to the OFE representative how long you plan to be at the event, and if you would like to do scheduled intervals for your presentations. For example, you may wish to present every half hour, and the OFE staff will communicate this to participants. When you have downtime during the event, such as when you're waiting for your booth to start, you may wish to use your device for other purposes. This is definitely all right to do, as long as you stay logged in to hop in during this time. Feel free to switch tabs, go on to other apps, etc. But remember to not close hop in. If you're experiencing any technical difficulties throughout the event, let the OFE representative know and they will contact tech support. We will try to help you fix the situation as quick as possible. And that is how to use Hopin for OFE's virtual career fair. If you would like to learn more about the participant experience during this event, or would like more information about the platform, feel free to check out our tutorial for how to use Hopin as a participant. I hope this tutorial is a helpful start to your Hopin experience. Thank you once again for offering your time to this event. We can't wait to host you very soon.